everyone, good evening and welcome to the first ever episode of the newly rebranded Coaster News. And this is going to be amazing and the first episode, let's just get straight into it. And if you watch here, you come to see the latest theme park news for different theme parks, rides and attractions across the UK and even the world. So let's get straight into it with our top story for tonight. Fort Park has finally launched their public consultation website for what they are planning to be their next major investment. This will be a new roller coaster in the Old Town area of the park and many of us actually predicted that it would be some sort of hyper coaster. I actually predicted that it would be a B&M hyper coaster. So much so in fact I actually made a Ultimate Coaster 2 recreation of what I thought they would build. Um, we were right in thinking it would be a hyper coaster, so much so in fact that they've even stated they want it to be the tallest roller coaster in the UK. And, it, and they said they, they want it to be a whopping 236 foot tall. Now, if you think about it, the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, which is the current tallest coaster in the UK, that's only 213 foot tall, even though for some reason they advertise it as 235 foot. Well, it is that tall, but only at sea level. In actual fact, it's only 213 foot tall. So this new coaster at Fort Park, they're wanting to actually build it like proper 236 foot tall. And it's going to be huge. It's going to be taller than Stealth, which is their current tallest coaster. The project name for this is Exodus. And we've actually heard that quite a lot recently at Fort Park. It all started um, back in when they started Park Vibes event. And a lot of their claw machines had actually got new um, pictures on it. And one of the, it had loads of different names for past and present Fort Park attractions. And one of the words it names it actually said on it was Exodus. And obviously that's not any attraction that has ever existed at Fort Park. So it's going to be, it's very interesting to see that. And then we even saw even more of it at Friday nights in the trailer's scare maze towards the finale. Where there was a poster that literally said the words Exodus. Although they changed it slightly to make it look like an easter egg for X No Way Out. Where it said X colon backslash and where it would normally say no way out, but it said it's an exodus. And that's the, it's the project name for the new ride. And exodus actually is a definition for a mass departure of people. And so obviously, rumour has it that this is actually going to be a Mac hypercoaster, Mac rides hypercoaster, because they've actually released new pictures of what the concept art they wanted to look like. And they actually, and the track design and the elements on it make it look like a Mac hypercoaster. And those typically typically have like two trains with six cars per train, which is two rows with two across. So it's like 24 riders per train. So that is pretty much a mass departure of people, hence the name Exodus. And what's interesting is on the plans, it actually shows two plans, uh, two plan applications. One of what the site actually looks like now and what they want it to look like by the time this coaster gets built. And it shows that pretty much the, the rumours have been confirmed about Old Town not opening in 2022. Um, we actually thought whether it would just be the rides that close the whole area. It's going to be the whole area that's closed. It shows in the plan application that the station for the ride and um, the pre lift hill section takes up that entire area where Rocky Express, Lumber Jump and Timber Tugboat is. And it's even going to... They're even going to... Um, um, I'm sorry to report this to any Fright Nights fans. This is actually going to be, they're going to have to demolish um, the building for Creek Freak Massacre. I know it's devastating, but Fort Park actually released a video on their social medias about a new roller coaster. They've, they've basically said in a themed way that they're in negotiations with the Buckwheat, who are basically the fictional character from Creek Freak Massacre, about the future of the sawmill. And that basically means that they want to relocate. Um, Creek Freak Massacre, the scare maze, to another area in Old Town. And if that's true, then um, you can be very happy about that because um, a lot of people, I, f I think Fort Park definitely know that Creek Freak Massacre has been their most popular maze or one of their most popular mazes to date. So if, if, if they were to get rid of it, fans would be devastated. I know it was for the greater good for a new coaster, but fans would be devastated that the scare maze would be gone. But hopefully they plan to relocate it. So we might see it in a new location for next Friday nights. But we'll just have to wait and see. And it's, so yeah, that's the Fort Park new roller coaster. It's going to hopefully be the tallest coaster in the UK. And it'll beat the big one at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. So that's going to be very interesting to see. We hope it gets 
um, approved and built. They're saying that they want to start construction in late 2022. So it could possibly, um, op more likely open in 2024, although they could possibly get it open in 2023, but probably like in the summertime, and that's if they built it quite quickly. We'll hope they do that. In other news today, London Resort, the theme park that has been planned in Kent for the past like 10 years, the, the bosses at London Resort have said that they will go ahead with the 2024 opening despite a lot of um, controversy over the site being a um, wildlife preserve. Because basically, if you didn't know, um, they want to build the London Resort on the Swanscombe Peninsula in Kent. And, on, and basically, that site is a rare species of spider that they're actually trying to, um, re trying to preserve all of the spiders. And so if London Resort are trying to build a theme park on there, then all environmentalists are going to try and stop them to, in order to save the spiders. So, especially in like the past, few, the past couple of years, they've been trying to figure out a way to build the park without harming the environment. And by the sounds of it, they've already come to a plan where they've, they've already said they're going to have it set open in 2024. And um, that would be amazing. They've said they want to start construction in 2022 and have the park open by 2024. So I'm hoping this is true. I'm, I'm assuming they will have got planning permission by now because the planning application was submitted years ago. I'm not entirely um, sure what's been going on the past few years, but I know what's been going on recently. And a few months ago, they actually um, um, pr um, asked for a four-month um sort of check on it to see what they could do with it in order to make it safe for the environment and things like that and i'm assuming they've come to an agreement now and they're saying that they're hope, still hoping to go ahead by 2024 so that's good news hopefully we should see it open by then i actually do think either 2023 or 2024 will be the next year of the roller coaster in great britain this is going to be amazing so um roll on 2023 and 24 and also, Blackpool Pleasure Beach recently um, have been releasing loads of new merchandise on their online shop. And this is actually um, amazing new merchandise what they've done. They've done a lot of that recently, and it's great. Um, the recent ones have done some new Icon pin and Valhalla pin badges. And even more creatively, they've done some more ride vehicles of um, Steeplechase and the Wild Mouse, which is um, a roller coaster at Pleasure Beach that doesn't exist anymore, so that's interesting. And probably one of the best ones I've seen, they've actually done a 3D printed model of ice glass, but when you get it, you actually have to build it, assemble it all into one, and it's actually really cool. Um, I want one so badly. <laughs> um, it looks amazing, and Blackpool Pleasure Beach, I've definitely, I think they're doing like a new sort of line of merchandise that's absolutely incredible. And I can't wait to hopefully get the um, assembly required ice glass drop tower thing for Christmas. That'll be amazing. And finally in the news for today, Merlin Entertainment has indicated that it plans to acquire various existing theme parks and attractions across the, I'm assuming it's the UK, but they, they exist internationally, so that's probably what they mean. Basically, they are taking interest in um, acquiring other theme parks and attractions to expand their portfolio of entertainment offerings um, all over the I'm going to say the globe because they do exist um, outside of the UK, but I'm not actually sure if they mean which specifically within the UK or in the world. I mean, they are actually um, expanding more in the UK because they're building a new um, Peter Rabbit attraction in Blackpool and also they're adding these two new coasters to um, Chessington and Fort Park. So that's great. But if they do buy new theme parks, I would probably hope that they would buy Flamingo Land. Honestly, that park is in, especially this year, is in quite need of a new owner because obviously they're a family owned park and since the pandemic started they've been struggling. I mean, the, at the moment they've still got, they still have yet to open a new roller coaster, which was actually going fine in construction up until March last year where lockdown happened and it was all just pretty much nothing from there. They, basically, the last time Fleming Island updated, had done anything with that new coaster was doing pull through testing then lockdown happened nothing so i would hope merlin would one day acquire for link flamingo land that would be really cool and I, I hope to see that one day 
So yes, that is all the news for today um, on Coast News. We will actually be back next week on Friday the 17th. And that will actually be the last one of 2021. Um, because obviously, um, later this year, we'll be premiering 2021, a fire and light display. And that's going to premiere on the 31st of December. Obviously, when that video is available to set notifications, I won't be uploading any videos until after that one. But obviously, the next custom news after the one releasing next week will be in 2022. So until then, we've got the one coming next week. So stay tuned for that. And anyway, I want to thank you all very much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, then please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you liked it in the next video. Bye!